Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thanks for tuning into another video. So I'm finally here in Walgreens doing my deal for this week. Um, da, 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 da. June the 16th through the 22nd. I'm not going to waste any time, so I'm going to go ahead and jump right into these deals. Little one is with me, of course, getting a little restless. So let's see what I can come up with. First thing I'm going to do is repeat the Colgate deal, which is buy two, get a $3 register award, and the price point is from $3 to $4. I'm actually going to pick up the Colgate Max Fresh at $4. That's a total of eight, picking up two. I still have my five off of two digital coupon. That's going to bring me down to $3, getting back the $3 register reward, making the final price completely free. While I'm here in the Orchid, I'm going to go ahead and do the Crest and Oral-B deal. So it's about to get a $3 register reward. We have items from $3 up to $5. I'm actually going to pick up a $5 toothpaste, and then I'm going to go ahead and pick up a $3 toothbrush. So here are the two items that I'm going to pick up. That's a total of $8. I have a $2 digital for the Crest toothpaste and a $1 digital for the Oral-B toothbrush that'll lead me to pay five i'll get back a three dollar register reward making the final cost two dollars for both or a dollar each so i love when we have this deal with the shea moisture and particularly since both my daughter and i use it but i was running low on her products and the kids are included in the sale but it's buy or the promotion i should say buy two excuse me spend 20 get a ten dollar register reward so i want to pick up one of the kids products i already have it in my cart because it was the last one for ten dollars and then i want to pick up the um smoothie here which is actually thirteen dollars so for those two products which looks like this give me one second so i want to pick up those two products that's twenty three dollars we have a three dollar digital coupon that i want to use that'll bring it down to twenty dollars getting back the ten dollar register award making the final cost ten dollars for both or five dollars each still not a bad deal overall but I am pairing all of these deals in with the weekly digital booster that I did receive this week. So I'm in the store a little bit later than I anticipated, but I'm surprised that I was still able to grab some of the uh, Tresemme products and actually find a pair. There was one pair left up on the shelf up there, then there are a pair down here that probably nobody even saw, that purple blonde. But, so I was able to pick up a pair. They're on buy two, get a $5 register reward, and they're on promotion two for 12. So picking up two will be 12. We have a $5 digital coupon that I'm going to go ahead and use. I'll pay seven, but I'll get back the $5 register reward. And it'll make the final cost $2 or $8 each. So here's what this transaction is looking like. So I am working with a weekly spin booster, uh, weekly um, digital spin booster of spin 40, get $10 at Walgreens Cash. And then when picking up the Shea Moisture and the Tresemme, um, it does qualify for the Summer Essentials Booster, which is spin 35, get $10 on Walgreens Cash. This is the only account that I had left that I had not used that on. So that's why I wanted to go ahead and pick up those particular items. And then I also have this paper booster that I'm going to throw in, which is spend 35, get $7 in Walgreens cash. So I will be going through contactless pay to um, complete this transaction. So the total for all of these items, you guys, is $51 even. Can you believe that? $51 for just a little bit of stuff. So $51, I'm going to use $10 in Walgreens cash, again, going through contactless pay, which will bring me down to $41 even. That means I'm over my $40 threshold for the digital booster. I'm over the essentials, summer essentials threshold of $35 for that digital booster. And then I'm over my um, threshold of $35 for the paper booster. I have my $5 digital for the Tresemme, $3 digital for um, the Shea Moisture, $5 digital for the two Colgate, and then the $2 Crest Too Faced Digital and the $1 OB Digital. That'll bring me down to pay $25 out of pocket. If you're doing the deal exactly as I am, having all of the digitals and same um, boosters, you would pay the $25 out of pocket. Um, turn that down, sweetie pie. Hold on, you guys. Sorry about this. Okay. I'm sorry about that. So you will pay that $25 out of pocket, but you'll get back $10 on Walgreens cash for spending $40 on the digital booster, $10 on Walgreens cash for spending $35 for the summer essentials um, products, 
seven dollars of Walgreens cash for the paper booster, a five dollar register reward for the Tresemme, a ten dollar register reward for the Shea Moisture, three dollar register reward for the Colgate, as well as a three dollar register reward for the Crescent OB. I'm not paying $25 out of pocket. I have all of these register rewards that I'm going to be using. This is $24 in register rewards. So I'm actually going to pay $1 out of pocket. And then I'll be getting back all of the register rewards and the points that I mentioned. So let me go check out and let's see how this turns out. All right, y'all. So here's my receipt. One little hiccup, but it's all good. So we have the one Shea Moisture at 13, the Oral B $3, the other Shea Moisture at 10, the two Tresemme $6 each, the two Colgate $4 each, and then the Crest. There is my Paper Booster Spend 35 Get 7. Here are all of the register rewards, the 10, the 5, the 4, the 3, and the 2. And then all of my digital coupons came off. So the 5 for the Tresemme, 5 for the Colgate, 3 for the Shea Moisture, 2 for the Crest, 1 for the Oral B. My subtotal was $11 which I anticipated and I did use $10 in Walgreens cash. I got back $27.41 in Walgreens cash. So I got back 10 for spending 40 for my digital booster. I got back 10 for spending 35 on the summer essentials. I got back seven for the paper booster and then um, 41 everyday coins. And then here are the register rewards that printed five for the Tresemme, three for the Colgate, 10 for the Shea Moisture. I did not get my three for the Crest and Orbi. Not sure why, but I'll submit to Catalina, which I don't have any issues doing um, to get that. I should ask the manager to give me $3 of Walgreens cash, but I'm not gonna fool with it. So I won't count that in my numbers. So when I get the $3 in the mail um, from Catalina, that $3 register order in the mail from Catalina, it'll be a free $3 for me. So here's what I ended up paying I had $24 in register rewards plus an $11 subtotal so it's $35 for everything I just showed you $18 in register rewards that I received and then I got back $27.41 in Walgreens cash it makes this transaction completely free and a $10.41 money maker so it seems like since these boosters are still printing spend 20 get five dollars of Walgreens cash i want to put something together to see if i can use this so the first thing that i want to get is going to be on this crest brilliance two-step whitening kit it's 12.99 have a four dollar digital coupon that'll lead me to pay 8.99 getting back the six dollar register award which will make the final cost just 2.99 which is an okay deal i'm not too mad about that the Nivea body washes buy two get five dollars on Walgreens cash buy one get one half off I'm gonna pick up the women's I know with the body washes usually you have to get like a uh, scent for that digital to come off I did found two like scents up front so picking up two that's gonna be eleven ninety eight so seven ninety nine for one three ninety nine for the other we have that five off of two digital coupon that'll bring it down to six ninety eight Getting back the five dollars in Walgreens cash, making a dollar ninety-eight or ninety-nine cents each, which is a very good deal. So I decided to go ahead and pick up the um, toilet paper and paper towels, and we have um, they're buy one get one half off, five dollars regular price was so seven fifty for the pair, and then we have a dollar digital for the um, paper towels as well as eight dollar digital for the toilet paper. So my total for everything in this transaction is going to be thirty-two dollars and forty-eight cents. Um, I'm going to use $10 in Walgreens cash off the break. I'm going through contactless pay again. So that'll bring me down to $22.48, which means I've met my threshold for this spend 20, get five. Then I have my $5 digital for the Nivea, $4 digital for the Crest kit, and then the $1 digitals for the, um, da -da 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 -da. The paper products. That's going to bring me down to eleven dollars and forty-seven cents. But then I want to go ahead and just use the ten dollars and register rewards that I got from the first transaction. So I'll pay a dollar forty-seven out of pocket, but I'll get back ten dollars in Walgreens cash, five for the booster, and then five for the Nivea, and then I should get a six-dollar register reward for the Crest. Let's go check out and see how this turns out. All right, you guys, here's the receipt for this transaction, the two Nivea and the two Scott, and then that Crest. There's the point booster that was scanned and the $10 register reward that I used. Here are all of the digital coupons, the $5 for the Nivea, $4 for the Crest, and the two $1 digitals for the um, the paper products. So my subtotal was $11.47. I used $10 in Walgreens cash, as you can see here. 
and then I did earn the $10 on Walgreens cash right back, five for the booster and five for the Nivea, and then I did get my $6 register reward for that Crest kit. So my total, the subtotal of $11.47 plus the $10 register reward, this transaction was $21.47. I got back the $6 register reward as well as $10.22 in Walgreens cash. So it makes the cost of this transaction $5.25 which I don't believe is a bad deal at all, especially since my first transaction was a $10 money maker. So I am perfectly fine with how this all turned out. All right, you guys, so here's the final breakdown. The first transaction was a $10.41 money maker, and the second transaction was a $5.25 cost. So it makes my final haul free and a $5.16 money maker. So definitely please how everything ended up turning out. Again, as I said, I'm going a little bit later in the week. Well, it's Tuesday today as I'm doing this. But as you can see from the shelves in that particular store that I was at, a lot of the Nivea as well as the Tresemme was gone. So I do plan to go back as I have other accounts that have the spend 40 get 10. Plus on those other two accounts, I have um, tracking towards the monthly booster of spend 46 times to get $25 in Walgreens cash. So I definitely want to make sure I get in at least a transaction this week so I can continue to be on trend to hopefully complete that booster by the end of the month. But that's going to be it for this video today, you guys. If you like these deals and want to duplicate them, please feel free to do so. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.